the science behind stress eating. A new study explores how we reach for chocolate instead of an apple when we are under pressure. Our Dr. Tara Naruler is with us. Good morning, Tara. Good morning, Vanita. I was fascinated that they looked at men in this study they instead did. of looking at women. They did. So they looked at 51 young, healthy men, and they broke them into two groups, 29 of which were subjected to stress. They had to place their hand in a bucket of ice water for about three minutes while they were videotaped. They then took both groups of men and showed them a series of images comparing two foods, one that was an unhealthy but tasty option, like a cookie, and one that was a healthy but less tasty option, like broccoli. They had to pick between these two, and at the end, they would be rewarded with one of the options they had chosen. During this time, they also scanned their brains with functional MRIs to look at blood flow to different parts of the brain. They checked their stress hormone levels and asked them about their levels of stress. So that was the basis of the study. And, and fascinatingly, what they found was that the men who had been under stress actually chose the more unhealthy or tasty options, the short-term reward. Over but you're saying there was the a physiological healthy. actual something that they could see from the MRIs. There was, and that was actually what was most interesting, is mm -hmm. when they looked at the MRIs, they found different patterns of connectivity or changes in the brain circuitry. And so what they saw was that the more primitive areas of the brain, the amygdala and the striatum that control emotion, motivation, reward, pleasure, were heightened, were amplified. And the parts of the brain that control goals, uh, your long-term goals and planning were sort of decreased or diminished. And so there was an imbalance there in the signaling in the brain. So what's the harm? What's the harm? Well, I think the big thing is that we talk about willpower and self-control as if it's almost something very simple. You know, just stop eating, have more self-control. And this really tells us that there's a lot more biologically there that may be playing into it. And that it's not just an on-off switch, but that there are multiple neural pathways that are at work. And any change in any part of that pathway could offset your ability to have optimal self-control. And that's why you say willpower is overrated. So how do you outsmart, essentially, Mother Nature and what is this physiological trigger? Well, I think I think there's a couple things you can do. Remove the temptation. So if you're in an office where you get stressed, don't keep the you know donuts around. <laughs> Use other coping mechanisms that are healthier, like exercise, like social support, meditation. And also in this study, the men who perceived that they had higher levels of stress in that situation had more changes in the, some of the brain circuitry. So the idea would be if you can even just change how you're perceiving the stress, you may be able to change your ability to control it. Uh, those would be the some of the techniques. My problem is not just stress; it's fatigue. It's I, I've got a whole list of things that I can blame on bad eating. Yeah, the, the interesting. <laughs> they need more studies on it. They do. <laughs> the interesting thing too is, you know, why does this happen? And, and one of the theories is that it may be evolutionarily added to mm. adaptive mm. to focus on the short-term mm. benefit. If you're stressed in the wild, you're not going to think about what's happening a year from now. You're going to think about how do I get myself back to feeling balanced and stable right now? How do I deal with the stress? The interesting right now? thing is how we can affect what goes on in our brain. Exactly. Mm. Wow. Exactly. So it's not completely out of our control, but at the same time, it's not completely maybe in our control. Make here's, me feel better. Here's yeah. to less stress. <laughs> yes, here's to less stress. Here's to less That's stress. Right. Dr. Karen Rowland, thank you so thank much. You.